Okay, let's take a look at question 15 in topic set 10 for chem 11. This is a question about phase diagram and how we can determine melting point or boiling point using the phase diagram. So in this case, we were told that we have a fictional substance X, which melts at 225 Celsius when the pressure is 10 atmosphere. If the density of the solid phase is 2.67 and the density of the liquid phase is 2.78 at 10 atmosphere, we're asked to predict whether a normal melting point of X will be less than equal to or greater than 225. So a couple of things to keep in mind. First off, the term normal melting point. This is the melting point that we observe at pressure equals one atmosphere. So that's a definition that you need to remember. And then the other important piece of information is the density. It tells us that the density at 10 atmosphere for the solid is actually lower than the density of the liquid. This is important because it tells us how to draw the phase diagram. The phase diagram diagram has two axes. One is pressure and the other one is temperature. And a typical phase diagram looks like this. The reason it looks like this is because here's the solid, here's the gas, and here's the liquid. The reason it's because as you increase pressure, the substance will go from gas to liquid and to solid. So the solid phase is, for most substances, the densest phase for all three phases. However, in our question, they tell us that the liquid is actually more dense. So if the liquid is more dense, the phase diagram changes slightly, it now looks like this. And the reason I draw it this way, as you can see, is that when I increase pressure, the liquid actually becomes the densest phase. The solid converts to liquid at higher pressure, which means that the liquid is denser than the solid. This is important to help us answer this question. So let me add in a couple more information that we need here. One is we were told that at 10 atmosphere, so let's say this is 10, we have a temperature of 225, and we're trying to figure out whether the normal melting point would be less equal or greater than 225. Well, as I said earlier, normal means pressure of one atmosphere, which is a lower value than 10. So let's say this is one. And so what I want to know is what's my melting point right here? Well, the melting point is the point where the pressure intersects with that solid liquid equilibrium line, which is this line right here, right? And so we got here. And then if we bring it down, of course, that value should be greater than 225 degrees Celsius. So in this case, Given the information that we have, the melting point at one atmosphere should be greater than 225 Celsius.